Hey Plant Gang, right here at, in the beginning of July, July 1st, as I record this video, I'm here next to really worldwide one of the most popular herb plants that there is, Lavendula angustifolia, or lavender. Uh, now most people know lavender because of the fragrance. And if you come and you find a plant and you just kind of crush it in your hands or bring it up to your face, you can smell it quite readily. And lavender does have one of the most unique smells of any herb, and you, you should know it when you smell it. Now in the southeast, lavender isn't necessarily a star of our southeastern gardens because of humidity. Way too humid to grow a lot of lavenders here. If you Google lavender and you put it in on an internet search engine, you're going to come up with pictures of these giant fields of beautiful lavender in bloom. Well, that doesn't happen in the southeast. Uh, because in particular our nights are too warm for lavender but you can grow it at the home garden and be successful uh, it really is not a plant that we see grown commercially like in other parts like northern california the south of france uh, those kind of places but uh, you can grow it uh, in particular this cultivar that i have behind me is called phenomenal and it really is a phenomenal cultivar of lavender and seems to be one of the ones that uh, we uh, can grow very well here. Uh, there's a lot of hybrid lavenders and so you just really we want you to know a lavender when you see it. There's other ones French lavender, different ones uh, that you can become aware of. Uh, now this one is right at the stage where you want to cut the blooms off of. If you do not cut the blooms off lavender they become actually a little bit too woody and the plant starts to open up. And so you want to in the home garden come right at this stage as the flowers start to fade to come in and prune these off. And you can use these flowers in the home. Um, people make soap out of them. They use them uh, for swags. They put in drawers, that sort of thing. Uh, lavender, very useful. Uh, a plant that definitely needs good drainage to survive in our gardens. So again, here we have lavender in front of you. You can see it swarming with bees. Uh, this is a plant that is great for pollinators. Uh, and a good addition to just where we have this in a saxatiel garden, living among the rocks, great drainage, sharp drainage is something that it really enjoys. In particular, in the southeast where we have wet winters, it definitely needs good drainage. 12 to 24 inches high, spreading out 12 to 24 inches wide, hardy from zones 5 through 9. Really, drainage is the only thing that will kill this plant, not a lot of other pest and disease problems. Here's a landscape tip for lavender. Amend heavy soils or grow in containers to avoid root rot. Prune to six to eight inches in spring to encourage compact, vi vigorous spring growth. I'm going to say that one more time. Amend heavy soils or grow in containers to avoid root rot. Prune to six to eight inches in spring to encourage compact, vigorous spring growth. Now I do want to put one caveat to that though is you do not want to prune any of these what we call quote unquote Mediterranean plants until after the fear of frost is really behind us. For us in Knoxville, Tennessee that usually is at least uh, April 15th but for lavender I won't touch lavender in the home landscape until we get past at least May 1st maybe even a little bit later than that. So enjoy lavender silvery foliage uh, you can tell it make sure that you know it with or without the blooms. Uh, because it definitely is a structural plant even when it doesn't have the blooms on it.